Hi everyone. So since our last meeting, uh, the ITTEC meeting at Bromsgrove, uh, I've been messing around with an idea for awarding uh, house points um, using an online system. And this is something similar that was presented to us um, during that meeting. Um, I'd like to share it with you and maybe get some feedback um, too. So here we've got a very uh, simple web page. Um, I'm representing the Sun Bears here in Ho Chi Minh City. And uh, if I just drag my window over here, I've got a teacher login button, so I'm, uh, I'm going to log in. In fact, I'm already logged in, so I'm immediately transported into the teacher section. We've got a house point link here, and we've got a few options. And we're just going to go through these one by one. The first one I'm going to show you is grade lists. So grade lists takes me to um, all of the grades that we have in our school. And believe it or not, we do have three grade 10 sections. In fact, let's have a look at grade 10C. This is grade 10C. As you can see, there are 18 students, and we can quickly see that there are quite a few lions and quite a few dragons. There's only one shark, and we have a few phoenix dotted around as well. So this color coding gives me a quick impression of the makeup of the, the grade in terms of uh, houses. So I'm going to click on this lonely shark, Julian. And this brings me to a page where I can get a little bit of information about Julian's uh, house point stuff. And I can see immediately that he, I think actually Julian is a she, she's got one point. She's been so good today with her English and being respectful in class, I'm going to give her two extra house points. So this hopefully will become three. So when I click award, I get a thanks message and a click to to confirm. So I'm going to click the sun bear. And lo and behold, Julian now has three house points. Wonderful. Now, another feature of uh, this site is uh, student search. Now, I know I have a student called Jules. I just cannot remember which grade she's in. So rather than going to the grades page, I'm going to come to the student search page and start typing Jules's name. And lo and behold, there is Jules. So if I click on Jules, I get a little bit of extra information just to make sure this is who I'm looking for. And then I'm going to view Jules's page. And lo and behold, Jules doesn't have any uh, house points at the moment. She's been so compassionate today, I'm going to give her one. These are just sample um, uh, criteria, by the way. Um, and there we go. Jules now has a house point. Back to teachers. And uh, I can then, well, any time really, just have a look at the current state of play. And there we go. We can quickly see that the, the dragons are, uh, have 45 points, but they're behind the phoenix, which is currently leading the house point competition. All right, I'm going to switch now very quickly to what this looks like on my small Samsung smartphone thing. And you'll see that I've, I've found a way to, to scale it so it looks good on any device. So this is my little Galaxy device. And um, I've come to my teacher's page. As you see, it's, I've, it's come to a little menu here, uh, a collapsible menu. And I'm just going to click on that. And then uh, I've got my house points menu that we saw before. And I'm just going to click on grade lists. And here we go. Everything fits nicely onto the screen. And do you remember, when I click on a grade, I get all the students color-coded. So let's do that. Here we go. This is 8A. Everything's perfectly um, viewable on this wonderful thing. Oop, I've just clicked a student. Let's just go back. Let's change the orientation just to see what happens. If anything happens, there you go. So still, everything is perfectly viewable. We don't have any issues with, um, with scrolling from left to right. It's always up, up to down. So this is, this is bootstrap, by the way. So I'm going to click on a student. Boom. And as before, I can now start to award house points. And we get the thanks message with the sun bear.